Hey guys, it's Linda and welcome to my DIY channel. So today I'm going to teach you how to half bleach your denim jeans or your denim jacket or whatever denim thing you own. But it was kind of an adventure to be completely honest. There was a lot of things I learned along the way. So I'm gonna walk you through the entire process of it and that way you know for sure what you should do at home. Um, but if you wanna look as cool as those TikTokers right now because it's so trendy, um, make sure you follow along. Okay, so this was the before of the jeans and the denim jacket. They were pretty cute, but I haven't worn them in like a year or more. So I wanted to change them up and this was perfect for it. But whatever you use, make sure it's 100% denim because that jagging material with elastic in it is kind of scary to me because I don't know how bleach reacts to elastic and I don't want you to ruin your clothes. But if you tried it out, let me know so I can share with everyone else. So here's all of the materials I thought I needed at first. Some you won't need, and then you also need some other stuff that I'll include right here. Disclaimer, I ended up bleaching it twice. The first time I used a weird bleach group that I made. The second time I just used straight bleach. Spoiler, the second time was much easier. Here's the whole thing documented for your viewing pleasure. Please take the first method with a grain of salt. Okay, so first off, I need to talk to you guys about my bleach goop that I created. Um, it wasn't the best thing for this project to be completely honest so you don't have to do this part but basically in my head i wanted to get that really clean line down the center and to do that i was like i need a bleach paste compared to a liquid bleach because acrylic paint versus watercolor and watercolor is always like runny and bleeding so i made this bleach goop and i did a whole bunch of research basically you want to mix cornstarch water in a pot heat it up let it cool down and then add your bleach in and then you get bleach goop it didn't work out well for this project but it is pretty cool and you can probably use it for any other projects that you work on anyways that's the first thought process that came to my mind when I started this whole project you'll see what happens later but after that you want to tape off your half that you don't want bleach on it so I just taped around the one side of the jeans and then also shoved it into a plastic bag secured it with more tape that way you don't have to worry about like a bleach splashing on the other side and then I did the same exact thing for the jacket. I used a pen and ruler because I wanted that middle line to be perfect. So after both sides were taped, I went in with my bleach goop that I thought I was so smart for making and I started painting about two to three inches out from that center point. That way I knew like that section would be clean and crisp. and then I could go in with my um, diluted bleach liquid to bleach the rest of the denim. So I did that for both of them. And it started bleaching kind of slow. I would say the jeans were a lot faster, the jacket like barely lined up at first and I waited and waited and it took like I think an hour and a half and it finally like was lining up a lot more. Okay, so it's getting pretty late and this is what it looks like. It's getting lighter, but it's taking a while so I'm gonna go shower. But at this point it was like 1.30 a.m. I think and I was so tired and I didn't know what to do because I didn't want to wait anymore and so I decided that I should rinse out the bleach because you don't want to leave bleach in overnight bleach is so strong that it might just eat away at your fabric so I rinsed it out, put it in the washer and dryer and then I was going to deal with it the next day so here's what it looks like after coming out of the dryer the jeans actually looked pretty good, it lined up a lot but I honestly don't know how I missed a few pretty big chunks and then the jacket was really weird because the center point where I taped off the half and where I put that bleach goop on didn't lighten up instead it acted like this resistance to the bleach it was just weird 
so then I realized I probably shouldn't have used that bleach goop I mean it did work but it wasn't like the best thing like it didn't work for the jacket but it worked for the jeans so anyways I was gonna go back in with bleach so I taped up both sides again and this time I used a tiny little brush and just the liquid bleach I probably should have diluted the bleach a little bit but I was so impatient from the night before and like working on it and waiting for the bleach to activate for so long that I was like screw it I'm just gonna go in with straight bleach I went in with the tiny brush drew along that line and it was so perfect and it was lining up so fast and I was like yes finally after that line was made I just went in with more bleach and a bigger brush and then I also used a sponge because it was a lot faster than the paintbrush um, but the bleach was like eating away at the sponge which was kind of creepy it was literally like falling apart so fast Do you see this as a kid? I have the fan going, I have all of my windows open, um, it smells like bleach in here so make sure you do this in a ventilated spot because my nose is kind of running, it's kind of burning but <laughs> I'm so happy with how it looks right now. Here is the jacket, this is the bleach side and then this is what it used to look like before. Um, but I am waiting for some of the like kind of darker spots to lighten up and then I can rinse it out. That's just me checking in. Then you want to rinse it off in cold water and then throw it into the washer and dryer and then you have your finished product and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It like literally bleached all the way through. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. I know it was a journey, but I learned so much through the entire process and I hope you guys did too. If you guys are interested, I also have a video on how to tie dye bleach up on my channel. So check that out. Um, but I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.